questions for you and the number one is what is standing between you and your purpose again what is standing between you and your purpose is it criticism fear failure or yourself because all the ones in that I mentioned it can be many different things but it all comes back to you it all comes back to you you know why because you are the one that is responsible for your life for your feelings for your experiences for everything that you can do now you can't change the past and the future is not here yet but you can only do everything that you can right now so what is holding you back is you I'm sorry to say that I know it can sound a little harsh but it's the truth and as a coach my job is not to babysit you but my job is to help you understand where you are at so that I can help you get to where you want to go and before that we have to come to the realization that guess what you are responsible for your own life you are responsible for your destiny for your purpose that is you so let's go to number two number dos number dos and let me see what I wrote here for number two oh, let me ask you this question so what would it cost you if you ignore it that that is holding you back what you identify as whatever the problem is what if you just ignore it what if we decide that yes you are a what is keeping you back from achieving what you want and you decide to ignore it let me give you an example you have a car and you might you ride in the car down the highway maybe going to work right and then you're going but there's a problem that you notice that the car have but you didn't notice this problem before but every time you drive the car the problem is still there and guess what the more you ignore the problem the problem is still going to be there and perhaps it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually your car might stop your car might pause your car might start making noise annoying noises your car will not be functional and that is the same thing with you you have to be able to work on the problem because ignoring it is not the solution and numero tres number three and that is what is the first step that you're going to take towards solving that problem what is the first step I know I know I know I know I know everybody think of you know defining the problem yeah but a lot of time what we do is that we define the problem but yeah, and we think that we are defining the problem and we are actually defining the symptoms that is not the problem when you have a headache when you have pain, it's not always that that you have to focus on. A lot of times when we, people have a headache, they only take a pill like, Whoop! and the headache go away for that moment, but then it comes right back. Because they thought that they were fixing the problem, but that was not the problem, it was the symptom. And that's what we have to try to identify. What is the real problem? What it is in order for us to find how to solve it. And that I did, I didn't say that it was gonna be three questions, but the reality is is that I have a bonus question for you. What's the bonus question? And that is, do you have a strategy to get to where you want to go? And, and what, let me let me explain to you that. Let, let, let's go back. When I'm talking about strategies, a lot of people are thinking, oh, hmm, strategies is thinking, thinking, thinking. Strategies is not only about thinking, thinking, thinking. Because sometimes thinking, thinking can get into stinking thinking and then you do nothing about it. So let me explain to you what is strategy 
It's about you making up your mind to make a decision to estimate your tools, your available tools that you have and what is it going to take for you to use those tools. What tools you don't have, what tools you need, when to use it and how to manage them properly. That is a strategy. So that in order, when you have all those put together, you can take action. That is the strategy. And that's so me, moi, as a life coach come in to be able to help you do all of that brainstorming, all of that management so that you can get to where you want to go. Booyah. That's how it works out. So really, that's what life coaching is all about. It's really understanding that you have what it takes to solve your own problems. But as a life coach, I am going to help you, support you in getting there a little faster. So that when you are making excuses towards what you cannot do, I am helping you understand, what about this? What about that? Did you try this? Oh, what about that that you did yesterday? What about that that you did last year? Maybe the things in that you're doing now is not working. What else can you do that might work for you? This is what Life Coach does. It's really like having your brain thinking, but at the same time, um, there is a little voice that is talking to your brain and says, what about that? Did you consider this option? And then you'll be like, no. And then the other voice is telling you, well, what about that? Do you think you can do this? Oh, what do you think you can do? Oh, what steps do you think you should be taking? Well, that's how a life coach come in. It's not about me being counseling you or a therapy. Although what happened is that when a life coach comes in and uh, uh, the benefits of a life coach is that a life coach can help you um, look at the things and that you think that they are a problem and they might not be a problem because Based on every story that you have told me about your life, I can see all the great things that you have done. I can see the benefits of everything you have been doing. But when we are locked in to everything that we are not, and we are listening to those voices that are telling us, you are no good, you are useless, you are dumb, you are stupid. That's where a life coach come in and helping you understand that you are powerful, that you have tools, that all you have to do is sometimes just sharpen those tools. Sometimes you only have to be able to point them because you have them hidden in a box and you can't find them. Why? Because your emotions are taking control of you and then you can't think clearly. That's what a life coach does. So if you have any questions about um, life coaching, go ahead and send me an email to info at mysandragraves.com. Again, info at mysandragraves.com. And also comment in the box below, you know, the box below. Comment and let me know what are some of the things in that you do that help you achieve your goals. What is holding you back? from achieving your goals. When I'm talking about yourself, what do you believe that, how is it that you are holding yourself back? Repeat, how do you believe that you are holding yourself back? Comment and share this video if you believe that it's going to help someone else be able to brainstorm what is it that they want to do in order to live purposely. Again, this is your faithful friend Sandra Graves and from time to time I will be posting videos when I have time, when I am not busy doing what I am doing, I will try to share more videos with you guys and perhaps in the future I will continue to interview others and bring them on the show about different topics that are going to help you grow and become a better version of yourself in order to live purposely. Bye bye now. Thank you.